my partner at this point of lockdown, so I've been watching a lot of porn. Now, people <laughs> say that porn gives you unrealistic expectations. I've a solution for that. Watch Scottish porn. <laughs> Scottish porn is gritty realism. <laughs> Scottish porn is the most depressing porn I've ever seen. <laughs> watched every Scottish porno on the internet. Some of the clips, you're like, how can I even tell these people are Scottish? There's not much dialogue. Let me tell you, I knew. <laughs> With a depressing inevitability, I knew my own people, cos it's just pale, hairy white bellies smashing against each other <laughs> like water balloons filled with yoghurt. <laughs> Every few seconds, a little voice off camera goes, oh, I. <laughs> Or memorably, tug on my pubes, Rona! <laughs> <laughs> but I meet a lot of young people at my shows now who see sexuality as a spectrum and it's very progressive and I think it's great. And I says to my little boyfriend, now people view it this way, could you be anywhere else on the scale of sexuality? He answered really earnestly. He was like, I've thought about it, but I honestly don't think I would like to suck a dick. I was like, <laughs> Baby, <laughs> no one likes to suck a dick. <laughs> it's really, just the polite thing to do. <laughs> See how she's clapping. Men in the audience, do you notice how more women laughed at that? <laughs> she clapped because her jaws too sore to laugh. <laughs> I've been going to the gym a lot since they reopened and I'm knackered, man, and it's hard to motivate myself to go. But any time I feel too tired to go, this is what I do, right? This is my motivational advice. I think to myself, hey, Fern, you think you're tired now, but think how tired you'd be if you had a baby! <laughs> <laughs> then I go back to sleep. <laughs> I realised there's no bad situation in my life that cannot be improved by me imagining I have a baby. <laughs> then I go back to not having a baby. <laughs> Try it. It only works if you don't have a baby. <laughs> if you do have a baby, you gotta take care of it. <laughs> so I'd always hated babies. Very, had very clear feelings on that. And then overnight last year, babies everywhere started to look cracking to me. And I was like, I want a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Intellectually, I don't want a baby. I'd like to keep my lovely money to myself. But my body <laughs> is at that sexy age where it's trying to trick me and it makes me think things like, but Fern, if you had a baby, it would be like a friend that could never leave. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Can you imagine being so lonely you have to shag your pals into existence? <laughs> <laughs> when I think about it, that's all a family is. <laughs> Run out of pals to do stuff with. Don't worry, make new ones out your hole! <laughs> <laughs> I've been Fern Brady, you've been lovely. Good night. <laughs> Fun lady, ladies and gentlemen.